put these things away for a while. Get this puppy ready to go. Two bottle cages, fresh brake pads in, and just getting this thing ready to roll for Iceman this weekend. I'm pretty pumped. All right, pistons are pressed, pads are ready to roll. We all good. Ow, I forgot about those wheels. All right. Time to take this thing out on the road. We've got an easy hour. and Sand Lake about to get this pre-ride in and of course it's raining. All right, on the pre-ride, it's Friday. Got some rain, sprinkles. We have the Aspens on. Brought some new fresh, fra fast, brought some new fresh fast tracks with. I put those on tonight, but about 25k to go and actually look at that 25k god i'm so pumped for this race so fun i love it all right we just finished free ride So today we had pretty much little to no traction on the steep bunch of climbs at the end and that was before the huge rainstorm. So we're going to get rid of the Aspens that we've been running all year that are pretty worn down. We're going to put these on. We got some S-Works, Fast Track, P5 T7 compound, so a little bit hard rolling in the center, super soft side knobs and uh, 235s. So we're gonna put these puppies on. Get ready for tomorrow. Saturday morning, about 7.30. Did not sleep great. Take this bugger outside. I'm gonna take a nap before the race. I couldn't fall asleep. I was like, not really falling asleep last night. It's so dark here, man. Wish I had one of those things. Brad Myers, Leo's sleeping. I gotta get a Gatorade out of the cooler here. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's on the other side. Ugh. All right, lock the bike up. For the warm up, it's like 1.45, go at 2.30. This is the airport. Start over there, head this way before shit gets real. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Had a good start. 
like fit top five, top ten, going through the first few miles, a single track, and then maybe like tenth ish. And I was just, I don't know, it was like a few bike lengths off, and I just struggled to hold the wheel. Kind of strung out a little bit, and then it bottleneck up in the single track, it catch back on, and yeah, I was just off today. Um, about 15 minutes in, me, Garrett, Lars, and someone else, can't remember the name, Blinken, got gapped off. And we were just in chase for like 20 minutes, and then we hit a long double track section of like, I felt like four or five miles. And we eventually bridged back up. We just kind of sat on the back, and then got dropped again in another, another single track section, just because I was sitting on the back, getting after like that. I was sitting in a decent spot, like 10th-ish. The lead group was maybe like 12th at this point, so close to the back, but not on the back. Um, things kind of slowed up, and I just sent a surge or flyer up to the front, off the front, and then, God, I can't remember this guy's name. Sorry, buddy. He um, just followed my wheel, so I didn't get anywhere. But at least I was, bought me another 10, 15 minutes in the front group, just because of my position. It was so high up. And then there was like a bottleneck, and people were just flying left and right, there's puddles everywhere, and I got, I just was struggling all day, um, and not really with it, and paid the price, I got shuffled to the back, and then there was just these punchy rollers, you know, with like, um, just before Anita Hill, with like 10k to go, and that's when I blew-ish off the group with Garrett and Wakely, and then I never just saw them again, really, just kind of kept them in sight, then I... They slowly pulled away and me and Lars rode from 10k to go to like 1k to go. just before the finish shoot and we got caught by like two or three guys they came around just before the single track I sat up took my glasses off so they couldn't see shit in the woods and then um, got passed by those two guys Chipper Hill, whatever it was, I don't know, know all these names. There was like a, someone on the side of the trail, maybe like an older guy, quite a bit older, maybe doing finishing up still, and he just like was stopped. And I got pinched between the guy on the left racing with me and then this guy, and I just kind of shoulder checked him, so it was okay. I drilled him pretty hard. Um, and I was like, yeah, like three or four. 
go back in this little mini group and manage to pass everyone but one guy. Oh man, that was super tough. Pretty happy with it, considering how I felt. I knew 15 minutes in it was going to be a really tough day. I was 14th in the end. I think Wakely was 10th, so that group was right there. I just, not my day, man. I, I really struggled. I was so, I fought so hard just to bridge back up. Me, Lars, and Garrett did. And catching back on, it really took a toll, but we made it. And then Riley Amos was just drilling it like non-stop just he's so punchy yeah don't have much more to say other than the bike was good the tires were good and glad i put those on last night the bike yeah thanks george for everything my mom for coming out and yeah that was maybe top 10 was in reach today but overall i fought really hard and then um yeah i tried to use positioning where i could and Especially at the end to make up those last couple spots to stay inside the top 15. Um, yeah, happy with that, I guess. So, yeah, just a lesson for everyone. When you don't feel your best, you can still push hard and, you know, leave it all out there. And I think I did that today. So, take it. Um, definitely tired from the last three-week block here. Driving to Cincinnati, driving back, driving all the way back to Indy, driving back and then driving all the way here like 40 plus hours in the car in the last three weeks and um, lots of UCI points, top 10, all four UCI races the last two weeks and then, yeah, I don't know, maybe take a little break. I was gonna go to North Carolina Grand Prix in two weeks, but I might just stay home and do state to defend that title. I'm not really sure yet, but I hit the road. Say hi, buddy. Say bye. <laughs>